Okay, so we're down here at the garage, got the car open. Uh, the first thing you want to do before uh, attempting to install, you know, an amp or something like that, most things, the first step is to undo the, uh, the negative battery cable. So that's what we're going to be doing first. Because we don't want to ruin anything. And, uh, you know, I also don't have uh, fuses at the back of my amps. Like, where the, ba where the back? I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I just have, you know, fuses to protect the long wires. So, and granted, these, these amps have uh, short, short circuit protection in them, but... Yeah, you just want to be safe. So, do that. Wiggle this bitch off. And that's good right there. What's cool, um, you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I upgraded my singled in head unit to, from just like a regular Kenwood to a, uh, Actually, I have it right here. This is a regular Kenwood to uh, an Excelon. And uh, I'm not sure if it's with all Excelons, but like if you look at uh, the, the KDC X, um, and then it can be like 301, 701, 501. If it has an 01 in it at the end, chances are it's from the end of like 2016. And what's cool about those is take the battery off and it remembers all of my settings. And uh I mean it's 2017 people, it's about fucking time. So on to the next part. Okay, so we're in the back of the car. Got a uh a magnet light in here. So this is the monoblock that I'm currently using. Um, it's like a 500 watt monoblock and this is the new one. So what I like to do, uh, just like a quick interlude tip is um, bef where you're, so like right now I'm gonna see where it'll fit. I have a feeling it's not gonna fit right here so I don't know, I'll have to figure something out, but when you're trying to figure that out, uh, leave it in the bag because, uh, you know, I like to take it out of the bag when I know exactly when I'm like right about to screw it in. So that way you don't fuck it up. Okay, so now I've undid all the powers, RCAs, uh, speaker cables, remote wire. And uh, I checked and the new amp is the exact same size as my R600 uh, 4D. So that's good. We'll kind of know what we're dealing with. So uh, now, since everything's unplugged, just uh, unscrew it. The next day, I forgot to kind of like end this video, but... <laughs> Got the uh, the mono block hooked up. This is it right here. Um, had to drill into this and that, so now they don't open up separately, which I wanted to avoid doing that. But there was just not enough room to get that whole uh, amp on that one seat side, so. I could have like turned it this way, but it wouldn't have looked as nice. Looks pretty clean. Got to clean up the wiring a little bit, but uh, so far it's getting 14.4 uh, volts. More like 14.2, uh, but and uh, it's a decent upgrade. So. Um, 